Hey everyone and welcome to this video. In this video I'm going to show you how you can create this kinetic type animation in Adobe After Effects. This kinetic type is very easy and you can achieve it in less than 10 minutes. So let's start. Alright so here we are inside of Adobe After Effects and now let's begin. So I'm going to click on new composition and I'm going to call it design. The width and height is set on 9020 by 9020. The duration is 10 seconds and the frame rate is set on 24 frames per second. So now let's hit OK. Now what I'm going to do is that I'm just going to create a letter morph animation for the first step. To do that, I'm going to go towards the text tool. I'm going to write the overthinking and let's just uh, change the font. Also, I'm going to decrease the uh, font size i'm gonna set it on 150 and i'm gonna set the this one to zero and then i'm gonna change is font to rock grotesque and i'm gonna choose a mm, let's say i'm gonna go with a compressed black that seems nice i'm gonna increase its size that should be good, 250 or 220. Yeah, I'm gonna go towards the align tab. I'm gonna align it to the middle and then I'm gonna duplicate it. And this time I'm just gonna go towards the properties and I'm gonna change its font to a light. So let's solo it so we can see it. Yeah, that's nice. However, let's just increase it a bit. So, that seems good. We can even make it thicker. Now let's see the original. I'm gonna change this color just to see how I can adjust it. Okay, that seems nice. And now let's change this color to white as well. And then I'm gonna create shapes from each one of these uh, layers and then I'm going to delete the original let's just solo them and then what I'm going to do is that I'm just going to solo this layer and let's just select each layers and then I'm going to go towards the crazy shapes and I'm going to set path keyframes and then what I'm going to do is that I'm just going to copy these keyframes I'm going to play it. I'm going to hit tilde key to see all of the keyframes and I'm, go, I'm gonna go towards one second and I'm gonna select these keyframes and I'm gonna press Control plus V to copy the set of keyframes and I'm gonna delete this layer because we don't need them. So now we have this animation which is nice and I'm gonna go towards two seconds and I'm gonna bring the original, original sets of keyframes in here to get a loop and let's just uh, apply the standard easings. I'm gonna press F9 and then I'm gonna go towards the motion tools. I'm gonna set the easings on 85% and then we can just extend them for like six seconds. So this is the entire timeline that I want and I'm gonna trim it. Great. So now that we have, it's time to add a bit more detail to this overthinking text. So to do that, what I'm going to do is that I'm just going to add a, a warp effect. And as soon as I do that, you see that everything is changed. So I'm going to set the warp style to fish. And I highly suggest you to like play with the other parameters because it will give you a cool result. However, I'm just going to uh, set a keyframe on bend and then I'm going to go towards one second and then I'm going to set it on minus 50. So we have kind of this wavy animation and then on two seconds again, I'm going to bring it back to 50 as usual. And I'm going to set the easings. If I press U, I'm going to set the easings on 85% and then I'm going to copy and paste them to get the loop. And now let's watch. Okay, this is nice. And now lastly, what I'm going to do is that I'm just going to add an echo effect and then I'm going to set the echo time to minus zero 
0.005 and I'm going to increase the number of copies to 10. So now we will have some jittery texture in here, which is nice. Okay, that's good. Now, on the next step, what we need to do is that we need to create a sort of displacement map to continue our work. So to do that, what I'm going to do is that I'm just going to go towards the project panel. I'm going to click on new composition and I'm going to call this one displacement map and I'm going to hit OK. I'm going to create a new solid layer and I'm going to call it displacement. And then on the next step, as you know, the time displacement effect works with the gradient ramp effect. So the first thing I'm going to add is a gradient ramp effect. I'm going to change the black uh, color to here and I'm going to set the white color to here as well. Now on the next step, what I'm going to do is that I'm just going to add a tritone effect and I'm going to change the highlights to black and the midtones to white. So we'll have something like this. And then I'm going to add a Fastbox Blur. And I'm going to set the blurness to 100. So we get rid of the middle, mm, middle black spots. And then what I'm going to do is that I'm just going to add the Fractal Noise effect. I'm going to set the Fractal Type to Swirly. And I'm going to change the Noise Type to Spline. Now what I'm going to do is that I'm just going to go towards the Transform. I'm going to turn off the uniform scaling. I'm going to set the scale height to 1000 and then I'm going to decrease the scale width to a number such as 60. That seems nice. And then what I'm going to do is that I'm just going to mm, set a keyframe on uh, evolution for like amount of like, uh, let's say uh, we can add an expression like for example, time multiplied by 1000. So this will repeat the texture and then on the next step, which is the last one for the displacement map, what I'm going to do is that I'm just going to add a turbulent displace. So we will have something like this, which is what we want. Now, what I'm going to do is that I'm just going to hide this displacement map because we don't need them and I'm going to bring the design composition in here. Now, let's just trim it to six seconds. And then what I'm going to do is that I'm just going to add the time displacement effect to the uh, displacement map. And then I'm going to change the time displacement layer to displacement. And uh, then I'm going to change the source to effects and masks. And now let's just watch. And since this effect is heavy, I'm just going to change the render to quarter. So let's hit OK. So we'll have something like this, which is not quite what we want. So I'm just going to change the max this max time displacement to 0.4 and I'm going to change the time resolution to 200. Now let's watch. So here's the animation so far we have and this is exactly what we want. So what I'm going to do is that I'm just going to create a new composition and this time I'm going to call it final. I'm going to bring the design uh, displacement map texture and I'm going to duplicate it for two times. And then what I'm going to do is that let's just trim it to six seconds as well. And I'm going to add the echo effect for the first one. And I'm going to just change it to 0 0.030 and I'm going to increase the number of echoes to 50. I'm going to set the decay to 0 0.3 and this one to like a starting intensity to uh, 0 0.94 and nothing will happen. But as you see, we will have some shadows in here. This is what we want. And I'm going to copy the second uh, and I'm going to copy the effect for the second displacement map effect. And this time I'm just going to change it to 0 0.005 and I'm going to set everything to one because I don't want to everything to be heavy. And then what I'm going to do is that I'm just going to add a color by adding a tint effect. So now what we can do is that we can, we can just um, 
change this white tints to like red and we can copy it and we can paste it for the second layer and we can change it to purple and now what I'm going to do is that I'm just going to create a new solo layer and I'm going to call it background and then I'm going to add the grunge texture in here and I'm going to set its mode on multiply so now let's hit and see the final result so we cannot see the red color so to do that and this time I'm gonna I'm gonna start increasing the decay let's just decrease the intensity and now let's watch all right here we are at the end of this video and i hope you have enjoyed it if you have enjoyed this video don't forget to leave out a like and subscribe to the channel as it would help me out a lot for the future content thank you so much goodbye